change that I'm handling loosely Got them all lust and they all wanna do me Do I think I'm getting too choosy Coming like him and Herzl Lights off, I hit GG and it's Koofy Then I'm getting yard to sleep all Gucci Sincerely yours truly 0.5 I wave like I'm coolie If I ain't getting money I'm moody Read the 15th floor that they saying I'm bookie Take less and dead more for my brewski I can't S on my people like Dookie Brooklyn's Camden and Camden's Brooklyn Chef G all for my two two G's The man never said S to UG Your gang too say you ain't uni Baby boy I got the baddies all broody What's the angle your boy just a Again, uh, Danny Simpson, you're here. Quickly. Quickly, very quickly. I got a lot of backlash yesterday. Even like, Bobby, you dropped the ball, man. You had something so important to talk about. And you done it so shit. I said, are you guys crazy? You want me to do a face-to-face with this guy? I hate he's wanted everywhere, and I'm going to be the one to do a face-to-face and get be collateral damage. I ain't doing that. I got a family, but I thought, fuck it. Babe, I, I, I got. I said, babe, I said, babe, I got life insurance. So if they take me, you guys will be good. So we're here. We're here. Thank you for uh, coming down at such short notice. You're the talk of the town, man. How does that feel? It's where it is, isn't it? It's where it is. It, it is. Someone else tomorrow. <laughs> so I deleted the one from yesterday. So for people who didn't watch it, we're gonna start from scratch, as if it didn't even happen. Yeah. Like it didn't happen. So fifteen thousand views didn't happen. Yeah, it, fifteen thousand views didn't. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. So we're gonna start it again from scratch. So we're gonna go with. Oh, hang on. Is that my phone? Oh, it's this phone here. Let me put that away. Apologies. Switch it off. Do we do the same? Yes. If please. there you go. So they're really going to get on to me, Bobby. I'm professional. Sorry, guys. It's the other phone. Um, but yeah, so, Danny, let's start from before. So where was you uh, born and raised? Camberwell, and I literally got born in Peckham, and I moved up to Woolwich. Yeah, so let me talk closer to the mic. Oh, I literally um, got born in Camberwell. I got born in Camberwell, uh, brought up in Peckham, and then my family and that when I got to about 10, 11, 12, moved up to Woolwich. Do you do you know do you remember much about growing up in Peckham? Yeah. yeah. Playing football in yellow brick. Yeah. So uh did you grow up with your mum and your dad together in yeah, the same mom, household? Yeah, mum and dad in the same household. So uh, how was the discipline in the house? Was it like was it were there strict oh, or more? Yeah. 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 Like I, I believe that if you're naughty, like dad's gonna give you a clump. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Did you, I mean with me being African, we used to get what we call beats. Yeah, beats. Like belts and yeah, I didn't like, really want to say beats. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> If I was wrong, yeah. Yeah, I've got a good licking. Do you, looking back now, do you, because I've always said I can't hit my kids. Yeah. Like, I look back fondly on beats, but looking now, like, I couldn't hit my kids. What, what, what's your views on then to com- compare to now? Like, I don't care what the government says. I don't, like, that doesn't bother me. If my yeah. kid does wrong, mm. he, he's going to get a slap. I don't mm. mean by wrong as in, as I used to get a beat. Like, yeah. if I kick a football and break a DVD, and you know, yeah. my dad's getting a bell out of bat mm. me. Mm. No, I believe... Swearing in front of women, yeah, he's not allowed to do that. He knows mm. he's not allowed to do that. Yeah, and hitting a female, yeah, he knows he's not allowed to do that. So if he hits a female or he swears in front of a female, I'm gonna slap his ass. Okay, I hear that. I hear that. So firm but fair. So uh, uh, early years, um, what did you want to be? What was the what was the, what was your dream and ambition? Same as everyone else, footballer, on it. Be a footballer, and your team was Millwall. Millwall. Shit, Millwall. <laughs> Take <laughs> your boots along. You might get on. <laughs> did, did you used to go to match the Millwall yeah, matches? Yeah, yeah. How was it at that at, at that time? The, the the atmosphere at the time, going to matches. Did you feel like you was part of a family? Because Mirror were quite obviously they're called known like notorious for the yeah. yeah. Like yeah. When you go, it's like a big group. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously Mirror are notorious for known for sort of. I mean, we can't racism. tarnish everyone for <laughs> for racism. <laughs> but did you ever experience or see anything like that yourself? No, not really. As a kid, because growing up, our best players yeah. was obviously black, yeah. mixed race. And like Australian, so okay. in my eye, like as a kid growing up, I never really kind of see that because our favourite footballers then for yeah. me all was the Tony Warners, the Tim Cales, yeah. the Lucas Neal, Steve, yeah. like they was all coloured people. Yeah. So um, well, apparently we don't have to say coloured people no more. <laughs> so so p- people of colour, people yeah. of colour. So um, 
What was your, your, your early interest and in? what was you sort of into? What, what was the things you, you, you liked doing? Boxing, football. As a kid, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Just boxing and football and stuff. Star Wars. Yeah. And how was your behaviour in school? Um, uh, I wouldn't say naughty, but I wouldn't say good. Yeah. Yeah. A bit of a, 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 a loose wire. They used to call me the Tasmanian devil, like the way I used to just run around the classroom. We sort of did very disruptive. Yeah, very disruptive. <laughs> what would you, would, you, would you think that came from? Just not, just not a short tension span. Not yeah. being able to sit down, write. But like, look at me now, I'm moving. Yeah. ADHD, you yeah, would you say? Yeah, definitely, 100%. <laughs> okay, okay. So um, what was your favourite subject in school then? Like, what did you like? Not science. Science, okay, okay. Because you used to burn stuff and it's okay. like, like magic, like it was, yeah, stuff like that. So going into secondary school, uh, where did you go to? Uh, Kidbrook. Kidbrook, and was that mixed school? Yeah, yeah, mixed. So how long did you last there? <laughs> year seven, year eight. Year seven, year eight, and yeah. I mean, they kicked you out? Yeah, basically Jamie Oliver come in to do school dinners. Yeah. And they was like, no, no, we can't have you here. <laughs> Why, because of Jamie Oliver? Yeah, so they said, you got to go, mate. Cause it, did they think you would be a disruption to so that? So basically they shut the calf down. Like, we used to have a cafe that opened at seven in the morning. Yeah. Obviously, kids who, who want to get there early. And used to bang in food, like yeah. chips, sausages, beans, like mm. good, like bacon, like rubbish food. Yeah. Jamie Oliver come in, so they stopped that. So okay. I decided to do a start stand on my own. Okay. So I got in a lift and just kept on going up and down, so they couldn't catch me. <laughs> so they just had to kick you out yeah. after that. And obviously, yeah, my little group in school at the time, yeah, mm. just kicked us all out. And I went to a centre. So, I mean, going to a centre... How was that experience? Because then you meet people who I are... I loved it. I met this um, woman, Loretta. Mm. I'll never forget my life. She was like a mum. Like, yeah. She just... She knew how to... To handle me. To control me. Yeah. Like, without having a leash on me, mm -hmm. she had that leash on me. Yeah. She could be in... I could be in three rooms away. Mm. I'll hear her and be like... What are you doing? Yeah. And she was the best. Yeah. Do you, are you still in contact with her? Did, no, I would know? love to say hello to her and wish her. Loretta, if you're listening and they're watching this, <laughs> Danny would like to say hello. I wouldn't be too sure about meeting him right now, but <laughs> <laughs> do you say hello, Loretta? If you do, uh, uh, if you uh, are in Instagram, just yeah, send a message over. So, um, getting in trouble then at a very. What, what was you getting in trouble for? Just being disruptive. I mean, forget school. Now. I mean, like on oh. the outside, like what, what sort of things you, you and your little crew were sort of doing at the time. Just basically nicking motorbikes, cars, going in JD, putting yeah. loads of clothes on, yeah. running out. Mm. Like, that was our favourite one at Cholton. Like, yeah. literally, going JD, get about 20 tracksuits and yeah. just hit that door about 300 miles an hour. <laughs> did, did you have sort of big ambition at the time? Or just like, you know, we, just, we, we don't we're know what we're doing. We're just, yeah. Yeah. just a kid being idiots. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because we wouldn't even do anything. We'd go yeah. to a, a field... And then just give the tracksuits away. Yeah. So we're just doing it for the sake of just doing it. Going in JD, trying on trainers, the sound to the man still later running off. Did, was, was you not playing for like football for any teams at the time? Was it, were you um, trying to do that at all? I did, I, I was at the time playing for like Welling United, like training and that. Yeah. And then, yeah, that was about like it really. I weren't taking it too seriously because I've seen my mates in nice cars, mm. good looking girls and just going to like clubs. So I just wanted to live that life because all my mates was like three years older. So okay. they were all doing that stuff. So then, I started doing it with them. Who was your role model at the time? Did you have any sort of role models that you looked up to? Um, uh, Lee Murray was one because obviously yeah. he was in my area. And then there was another guy. I'm not going to mention his name, but his name, like, he's TB. Everyone knows who he is. But yeah. my respect now for him, it's like, there's no, I don't look up to him at all. Okay. Won't get into that because that's another conversation for another day, I guess. But what about any positive role models? I mean, I mean, Lee Murray, we could say, was a positive role model if we had to <laughs> go that way. Say. But we're not really going to say he's a positive role model, are we? So, who who, do, who would you say was someone you can say, look, he's not involved in that lifestyle and there's someone that I uh, might aspire to be or is there no one like that? No, there was no one like that. Like, it, at, at a very young age, it was that like, geezer TB, but he kind of, he deserted me and went to some people that I didn't get on with. That's why I don't like him. But yeah. the way he, he lived his life, the way he made himself a multi-millionaire, yeah. that's the person. Like, he was legit. He was... He went, phew, yeah. and made it himself. And he, yeah. and the drive that he'd done it was just the way I loved him. And that was the sort of what you aspired to yeah, be? Yeah, 100%. Okay. So what about uh, amongst your peers and your friends that you're... Did you guys have sort of conversations together? Like, oh, these are our hopes. This is what we want to do Yeah, because day. basically, so that he's a TB and then he's mate. Mm -hmm. His name begins with M. I'm not going to say his name either. Yeah. But obviously, my mate, G, he 
he was like, he was like the little M, and yeah. I was like, pretend to be the little TB. Yeah, okay. So like, as growing up, it was like, mm. you're gonna be him, I'm gonna be him. Okay. So you guys like was fascinated by this. Yeah, these, 100%. These, these they're driving on a road in brand new M3s, and yeah. they're trying to blow the gearbox because they don't want it no more because mm. they think it's rubbish. And like my other mates meet, like TB's meeting me in a RS4, and I'm like, wow, and he's yeah. giving me a fifty pound note, and mm. I'm like, wow, like the age of fifteen. Do you know what I mean? Would you say? Subconsciously, I mean, not the puppy that was trying to that that kind of groomed you into the lifestyle because you're getting the no, because they weren't like that. Mm. They was like businessmen. Do you yeah. know what I mean? The way they made themselves be business, they wasn't like the Lee Murray. Do you know what I mean? Mm. They was the the proper way. Okay, and they made themselves yeah be real billionaires. Mm. <laughs> so fighting is something that you you've done a lot <laughs> in and out of prison. What was it about fighting that you was getting you involved in the first place? Why was you fighting a lot? I don't know. I just find it fascinating. Like when I was watching uh, field fights and that, and I just loved it. So then I just started doing the same kind of thing. And when I moved up to Woolwich, I was like fighting every day. Yeah. Every day, like I used to hang around with like certain of the Somalians, and then the other Somalians didn't like me. Yeah. So then on my way to keep it at school, I used to have to get off the bus in the middle of Woolwich. Okay. So I'm fighting them then, then going to school, and then on the way back, getting back off the 161, fighting them again, then getting on a 96 back to Plumstead Corner, fighting them again, mm. and then going mm. home. And that was just every day, like on my own. And you think that that sort of build the reputation of who you was as a fighter? Yeah, in that literally, area. yeah. And then it was, I started hanging around outside schools, and then it was just like my school versus their school, and then like, yeah, fights like that, really. So, in regards to with the police, what was the sort of first encounters at the time? Like when the first time I got arrested? Yeah, we did. Um, literally nicked my mum's car in Peckham, drove down commercial way, <laughs> turned the corner, and obviously didn't turn the corner, yeah. probably, and drove straight, uh, she drove her van straight into a car and crashed it. And what was her reaction? She got me nicked. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I got arrested. She told the police to take me away. And then, yeah, they come, they nip me, put, took me to Peckham Police Station, kept me there for a couple of hours. My nan come and got me out and I stayed with my nan for a little while. And what was the conversation with your mum afterwards? How was your feelings towards her? And how, I kind of felt you? let down. Like, you got me nicked. Like, yeah. of everything to do in the world, you could have... You could have got the belt. You could have caught a pool mm. cue. You could have beat me with whatever you wanted. Yeah. You got me nicked. Yeah. I felt betrayed. Like, yeah. And at that time as well, did you know much about the police? Did you was you already like fuck the police at the time? Or yeah, what? I knew they was the bad guys. Yeah. What? And that's interesting. What is it as young people that makes us think the police are the bad guys? Because if you look at people who are not involved in criminality or anything, like they see the police are the people who are here to, there to help the public. Yeah, but as young people, especially coming from the hood, we're already kind of told the police are bad for us. Why do you think that is? Because they we see them the harassing side. Yeah. Where people that think the police are great, they're good. They're, because they only see the good things they do. Mm. They don't see them kicking doors off, 20-handed, mm. beating people up. They don't see on the street them beating 15-year-old kids up. They don't yeah. see them beating up our friends in the football cage for nothing because he's told them to shut up. Yeah. They don't see them kicking him, stamping it. They don't see that. So mm. as kids growing up, when we see that, for let's just say, for example, nicking a sweet out of a shop, yeah. and then all of a sudden 10 police pull up and start beating up your friend. Yeah. You're not going to look at that policeman, any policeman with that uniform now, from that day, and think, good guy. Yeah. You're going to think, bad guy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm the, we're the ones helping old women over the road with their shopping. We're the ones helping women and kids sit down on buses and things. Not yeah. the police. So yeah. we're looking at them beating up our friend, beating up the man down the road, yeah. doing bad stuff. Mm. We ain't seeing them doing good stuff. No, I hear that. The good guys are the NHS and the firemen. They're the good guys. You don't ever see them beating no one up. Yeah. Just see them doing good, 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 good. Did you ever think about being a fireman or working at NHS? No, but I'll take my hat off to them. They are just superheroes. Like, there's no other word to say other than that. Who would? Who, I wouldn't have the guts to put myself in that to save someone for a fire. Mm. Like, they do. do you oh, know, I, mean, you you, I mean, you say you wouldn't have the guts to put yourself <laughs> in a fire, but you're putting yourself in a lot of fire at the moment, I must that's say. People's, um, that's what people think. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That's their interpretation. Mm. Like, in my eyes, it's not fire. Okay. Right, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. No. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So um, the police obviously end up arresting you a few times and you end up going to prison. Uh, what did you go to prison for the first time? How old was you? Uh, it was burglary. It was 2005. Yeah. And it was literally 
it was for nothing. Like yeah. me and my bedroom was walking back, and we yeah. said, "Oh, should we do what they like? Get a car like them boys?" Yeah. And we was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." And we see a window open. We done a scumbag thing. We climbed in, tried to nick the car keys. There was no car keys, and yeah. we didn't even take anything. But yeah. people's eyes, it was reported that we nicked loads of like a stereo, a DVD player, TV. Mm. And not getting done and yeah, nicked. Cabal yeah. Green Court, so many and, and imagine DVD players of those days were like 200, 300 pounds. I'm not. <laughs> Bloody hell, you mate. I, wish <laughs> I did it at that age. I was in, like, yeah. So, how, how did you get nicked? How did, how did I catch you? Because um, she's dumb. Like, yeah. I'd be broke the ass with no gloves on. Like, oh, right. Just so, yeah, it really didn't. had your fingerprints, yeah, yeah. Literally. So, going into court and being remanded and going, told you going to prison. Yeah, that was a madness. I, don't know, I remember that clear as day. I was yeah. in Cabal Green Court. And no, at the end, like, I've been there for other stupid little things. And then the judge says whatever he says that I don't understand. Yeah. And you just get up and you walk out. Mm. So this time, I stood up after he said detention and train order. So he didn't yeah. say prison. Yeah. And then I stood up. I said, come on. And she, <laughs> she looked at me and she was crying. I went, yeah. what's about with you, man? Mm. Grow up, like, man up, like, fucking hell, let's yeah. go. And she went, they're taking you. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? She went, you're going. I said, going where? She went, you're going to prison. And then that was it. The big man come and grabbed me. And he was like, come, boss, man, you come with me. And then he took me downstairs, put me in a cell, and how not come it was. <laughs> and how was the feeling when you're in a cell? Because I famously told people how the first time the judge told me I'm going to fail, I was crying right. until I found out one of my friends was in the van with me, so I said, man, up. <laughs> but <laughs> how was it when you first found out, or when you on that van going there, did you, was it, did you, no, sh- it did you shed a, a tear? Van. Was you no, excited? No, it, wasn't even a, it wasn't a van. It wasn't the initial going into the prison. It was in the cell at night time, sitting there, and it was yeah. freezing. Yeah. And we had these dusty orange blankets. Oh, yeah, another one. And then I just, a little tear come. Not even, I'm not even going to stunt. A, yeah. a tear come to my eyes. And I was like, I just want to go home, bro. Mm. <laughs> this is mad. Where's my mum? Mum, come <laughs> get me out, bro. And then, yeah, that was it. And then woke up next morning. Didn't know what was going on again. Didn't even know the time. Yeah. And then, yeah, they just open all the doors and I come out, all, like, nervously, like, what's yeah. going on? And then some kid went, oh, come with me, mate. And I went downstairs and got my breakfast and sat with a few kids. And I was that new to the jail. When you get your little breakfast pads, yeah. you have these sugars. Yeah. Like, I, and I fucking sprinkled whitener over my <laughs> breakfast instead <laughs> of the sugar. <laughs> and then some kid was like, what are you doing? That's, that's whitener for your milk. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shit. And then he went and got me a new one. And mm. then, yeah, I just started... Communicate with kids because back then you could eat out, yeah. So you're associating with people like mm. sitting down at the table. And did you make so did you make, manage to make friends easily? Yeah, I'm like, I'll get if someone shows me respect, I'll show them respect, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's and and real recognize real, like, it's simple as that, mm. you know what I mean? And everyone has to, like, like you know yourself when you go there, everyone has the same likes, everyone yeah. likes the same stuff, so it's very mm. easy to start a conversation, yeah, very easy to get on with people, yeah. So what about visits? Did, you, did your mum come and dad come and visit at the yeah, time? Yeah, every every week. Did you enjoy them? Some people say they don't, they don't like visits. Um, I don't really like visits, but my kid like when my kids come on up and that, you got to see your kids, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. Back then it used to be just looking at other people's girlfriends. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, nah, they're not they're, they're bit as good as they can be. Mm. Do you know what I mean? How long did you serve? Well, that time. Yeah, um, four months to two. Four months to two. All to go about the time span of all the times you've been to prison. Do you know how many times you've been in prison and how what it equates to? Oh, we ain't got enough fingers and toes in this room. Yeah, like, um, a lot. Like put it this way: every time, so I get out from then, two thousand and five, yeah. and then within three months they nick me again, put me back in. Yeah. Then I'll get out again. Within six months I'm back in again, and every time it's literally for minor offences. Like a police have come to arrest me for a fight that happened. Yeah. I'll start fighting the police, smack up like three of them. Next thing I know, I'm in the police station. They'll drop what they come to arrest me for, yeah. like the fight in Bexley, and then go, oh, but we're charging you for assaulting six police officers. Yeah. Go to court, six months to three, by Simpson. Get back out, do a little disc roll driving or a little dangerous driving. They come to arrest me again, assaulting the police. This time, I've assaulted 10 police officers yeah. and a dog. Yeah. By Simpson, another six months to three. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. You, poli- you assaulted the police dog? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, like, this, this dog, Archie, that I've, I've kind of attacked. <laughs> what did you do to the dog? I just had the dog in the headlock. It was just wacky. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> but I've got it on black and white paper as well from the police. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, going back in and out, in and out at the time, what, what are your feelings towards your soccer? I know 
It was just I, long. I went to jail twice and I felt like, uh, oh, I'm a failure. My mama, how, how was you feeling yeah, getting like, in and out? Do you know what? At the time, I didn't really care because I thought, nah, they're stitching me up. They're stitching mm. me up. But then coming to the end now, like the other week, that's when I was like, like this is a this is a joke. Like I'm I'm failing myself. I'm letting myself down. Like this, is, I've got to stop. Like it's got to stop now, or it's not gonna stop. Like I don't want to be that fifty year old on the wing telling war stories about in nineteen ninety two I was a bad. No 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 no. I need to do my life, do it now, and do it correct for my for me, for my kids, for my legacy. So, so with all this fighting, wasn't it a thing that where you thought? Maybe I should get into boxing. Maybe I should get into become an MMA fighter yeah, at the time. Yeah, my, my older brother got me um, tra- got, got me to go training with his mate who done, who done it. And literally, I went training, and they was like, mate, you're really good. You mm. need to take this seriously. Even from the second my mum put me in boxing, yeah. Bexie, when I was like 10, 11, the man said straight away, he's a natural boxer. Yeah, like he's natural. He's one of the best in it, and he, this is like his second session. Yeah, his brother, my little brother, he said he's just he's no good. Yeah. He needs to go home. But mm. Danny, he, bring him. We need him. And so then, quickly touching your siblings, then um, how many siblings do you have? I have three sisters that I don't talk to at all, yeah. and um, two brothers, an older brother and a little brother. I don't chat to either. You don't chat to both your brothers. No, no, no. no. What's happening, Danny? They just all, like my sisters. That was that was family. Obviously, my their kids from my dad's other side, but. Yeah. They're, my brothers and my mum and that they're just they're just they're just joke like they're just people that hold their hand out it's just mad like I just got no time for them bro and my little brother he's yeah, he's, he's lost calls man well like I said like family is family in the day let's I only fell out my older brother that other day literally mm. I asked him to do can you do an he's a builder I asked him to do an extension on my baby mum's house yeah. his words was if I've got time if I can fit you in yeah. I said you know what when you ring my phone and you ask me to do so Done. Yeah. You ain't got to ring my phone to see if it's done again. Yeah. But if you've got time, if you can fit me in. Do you know what? Get the fuck out of my life. Yeah. I don't need people like that. But you know what? Family is family and we all go through issues oh, and I'm sure <laughs> you guys will make it up. I'm, like, good. I'm, I'm like, good without them. I don't, I don't need my phone ringing. I don't need it. I promise you, you and your family will be good one day. Hopefully. <laughs> fingers crossed. Hopefully not. Uh, <laughs> fingers crossed. Well, the, the, the way things are going, like, well... Like you said, they'll do nothing. But you need, <laughs> God forbid, you need people to come to the funeral. I don't want them there either. It's, oh, it's, God, God. That's how deep it is gone, do you know what I mean? Wow, wow. I feel like, you, so what, you're using me. Yeah. We, you're meant to be my brother. I have my friends who tell me, Dan, for example, my mate who does driveways, he went, you should pay for materials. I'll get whoever you, I'll get my mates to do it. You just pay their wages. He yeah. doesn't want no money. Mm. It's not if he's got time, if he can fit me in. Yeah. That's a mate. Mm. But my own blood. If it was him, I'd say, I'll do the whole thing. Mm. I'll do it, me, personally. Yeah. If you can fit you in. Do you know what? Fit yourself in, away from me now. Time's a healer. Time's a healer. Time, and there'll be healing. That's a <laughs> You pay for it. Time's a healer. So, I mean, yeah, back to the... F- so, doing the b- actual boxing and stuff, and people are telling you you're good at it, and you're g- you've are got all this aggression, all this fight in you, wasn't it something like you could have been a world champion right now? I don't rate myself that good, but... Yeah. <laughs> Um, I, just, I don't know. Go even look at I you're fighting for I, free. I, you're I, fighting I, for free where you could be paid to be fighting. Yeah, I just, do you know what it is with boxing? I can't stand it. I just yeah. think it's so boring. It's mm. ridiculous. Unless it's two good people, bo- boxing's boring. But Ooh. you prefer, prefer yeah, MMA? Because it's I mean, everything. I mean, we yeah, saw, that's a tear up. Oh, uh, yeah, we saw the. Um, I saw your YouTube fight, and that was, was that your only uh, YouTube fight at the yeah, moment? Yeah, yeah, that was a joke as well because he didn't even hit me back. So you like the fight? You like someone I to hit be you? It, yeah, yeah, I want to be. I want someone to put it on my chin. What does that? Where does that come from? I don't know. Probably my dad battering me as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Did, have you ever thought about doing therapy? Yeah, I've done therapy when I was on probation. Well, they made me do therapy. And did you think it, it done anything um, for you at all? Because there is yeah, a lot of talk of that men men don't like doing therapy. So no, like I feel, I always feel like. You need to get stuff off your chest. If you hold it in, you're gonna. It's not. It's not gonna be good. You're gonna resent. You're gonna hate, and you're gonna rebel. Yeah. I always feel like you need to open up, talk, speak to people. Like me, I can't really. I'm not really good at talking to males. Yeah. Like females, mm. like my therapist was a female. Mate, I, I loved it. Yeah. Like literally, I could sit there and talk to her for time. Like for example, I'm 31 now. Mm. Loretta loved her. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, it, it, 
you need to always talk to people to let them know your problems and then you won't have that issue. At the time, did you ever think you could speak to your dad? Like, dad, this is what's going on or... Nah, he was just an angry man. Yeah. <laughs> I hear that. So, again, Lee Murray, I guess, is someone that was into the fight. He used to do the MMA. Yeah. Um, allegedly, um, what he got done for. <laughs> I mean, when, when that happened and how is your relationship with him right now? Like, what, right now? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but calm. Like, yeah. literally, son messaged me the other day. He said, Dad loved, um, said, uh, said you're exactly like him. He loves it. He keeps on laughing down the phone. And obviously, he's sitting in a Moroccan jail laughing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, how, how long has he got left? Do you know? Is, is he They're just trying to get him out now, trying to get the king to pardon him. How long is that? When did that? Was that 2005? When did that actually happen again? 2005, yeah, I was 15. I remember at the time when my my, my, my my dad made a joke, come let's go to Kent, the, the, there's, there's money in different cars. I'm like, what, you're just going to go to, to, to that Kent? That was my and first prison sentence. That's yeah. when I was in Anglican. Okay. All right. So I remember my pal knocked on my door. I was like, oh, do you know that geezer from your area? He's just been nicked for this thing. W- w- would you have gone? If, would, you, would, you, would you have gone I on the right? I was I would have, 100%. <laughs> I, I, yeah, 100%. So hopefully he's not got too long left. No, hopefully not. Just for his kids' sake, do you know what I mean? That's all he cares about is coming back and seeing his kids, man. Yeah. And you're a father yourself. You have, you've got two uh, children. How was how is fatherhood for you? What does it mean to you to be a father? I don't. I don't try. I try and be my son's mate. Yeah. More than the father, the discipline. Mm. Like unless he's rude to his mum or he hits his mum or in front of anything in front of a woman, then I won't. I'll tell him off. But yeah. Other than that, I should be his mate. I play games with him. I play football. Yeah. With him. I play computer. Like. Mm. <laughs> rings me up V box, no problem mm. make it in V box. <laughs> what, 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 what's his and I mean just being able to do that because beforehand I, I'm assuming it would have been a struggle oh dad I want this I want that how, does, how much better does it feel to be able to dad I need this it's a school trip oh here you go here you go how does that make you feel as a father no like she, even her like give her a truth she's always they've had what they they need yeah. they've, they've never gone without mm. so yeah no, I hear that so let's let's move fast forward a little bit then. Let's fast forward. Let's get to the nitty gritty. <laughs> let's get to the actually before we get to the nitty gritty, I just want to talk about quickly. Um, so I met you in 2011. I was in Pentonville. I think that the riots had just kicked off there. Yeah, I smoked you at table tennis. No, table tennis. I was number one. <laughs> I used to give. But we pe- can get it going. No, we, no, no. We're, de- we're, de- we're definitely gonna get that because I, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna send you some videos later. That could be a last little video yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, of, of me destroying everyone. Views. Me destroying everyone at table tennis. I used to offer no, people no, no, canteen. No, 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 don't, don't try. It. I used to offer people canteen to beat me at table tennis, especially if he was with me in camp, not camp hill. Um, what's that prison? Man, you're saying jails that weren't in. Okay. I, but bro, 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 bro. When I, I don't lose. All right, cool. So no Unless you've done this playing, as you're playing me, then we got, you're beating me like, I don't know, 8, 6, and you've gone, yeah, best to 11, and then you've gone boom, 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 and won. I ain't uh, lost no 21, bro. All right, well, we're going to make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to make, gonna make it happen. So, um, with table tennis, how did you learn? Just through being in prison and, and just yeah, learning uh, over time? It's like anything, like you know yourself. If you go into a pub now, if you go into anywhere now with a pool table or a table tennis table, and you can play. Yeah. Everyone's saying, "God, you've been jail. You've been, yeah. you spent too long in jail." Yeah. I, me- I remember you quite being quite loud in. Is that thing? You was always. It was always quite loud. I just. I'm, is this yeah, your personality? Yeah, it's personality. Because again, I like to. If you don't laugh, what are you gonna mm, do? Yeah. You're gonna cry. Because you you, you remind a bad situation. You reminded me that you I saw you in in Pentonville and you told me I remember you from and I couldn't remember. And yeah, I was gym all and I used to go and get everyone for the wings for you. Yeah, because yeah, because basically I went went to uh, Pentonville to do my my prison talks and you was there, but I didn't remember at all. Everyone's been sending me after the whole controversy that we're about to get into now. Is that now? I looked at the face. I'm like, no, that's why I messaged you. I said. Was I with you in Belmarsh playing uh, tables? And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Bro, I went back to my cell and added you on Instagram there and then. Okay. Yeah. So imagine. And you didn't add me back. I was like, oh, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I get so I get so many. I was thinking, different you know requests. what? He don't want to add me back because he knows I'm in the pen, bro. Now, nah, now nah, you know what? There's so, there's so many people in the pen that yeah, that, no, that, that messaged me, and because I have to be, like I said, I go into prison yeah. as well, so I have to always have to be professional on that as well. But. But I'll take my hat off to that, seriously, bro. No, I appreciate like, it, man. It. You just put a smile on all our faces because at the end of the day, you're coming in and you're doing what we enjoy. Yeah. If you wasn't doing that, what mm. are we going to do? Sit in our cell. No, I hear that. Like, we've done football with you every day. Like, they never done that. Yeah. Like, used to, gym guys used to try, but the jail used to try to say no. Mm. And when I was a gym all day, it was a joke, do you know what I yeah. mean? Because not everyone wants to go and sit there and do weights and get hench. Yeah. But people want to play football. And when mm. you was there, football every day. And, mate, you made the jail smile. No, I appreciate it, man. Appreciate that. So, 
Got out of prison. So even though ambush is shit at all. <laughs> yeah, shout out ambush. Shout out ambush. <laughs> Wait, where, where is ambush? The last time I see him, he was on Instagram live getting nicked. Yeah, he's literally. He messaged me the other day. Okay. He just got his, start, his phone back. Okay, oh, so he's, he's back out now. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool, cool. Oh God, yeah, I'm gonna message. <laughs> he's safe. He's safe. <laughs> he's safe. So. You've come out of prison, so obviously I've gone onto your to your Instagram. I said, "Whoa, this guy is either a footballer now, or he's a musician, he's an artist, manager, or a he's dealer. into property, <laughs> or well, or into that, something." That's the natural thing everyone thinks, but it's not. So, what does Danny Simpson do? Literally, just a del boy, just a wheeler and dealer. Literally, sell cars and profit, sell watches and profit, anything to make a profit. Mm. Like sell T-shirts, make a profit. And how long has this been going on now? Um, for about a year now. About a year. Yeah. So you've amassed all these within a, literally a year? Yeah, within a year. Literally so just flipping, 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 flipping. So with that, I guess, I mean, I saw the video of the police um, coming with a chopper and a gun police to, to, to stop you. I mean, if that is just the case, why are these police so on you? I don't know, bro. Because obviously I've got markers on my record to say yeah. assault, violence, violence, assault, 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 assault. But that even in that situation, that was a joke. Yeah. Me and my pal, we won Love Island, I'm not going to say his name, but we went up to Novikov and as we come out, the doorman said, oh, police have circled your car. Yeah. I'm thinking, for what? Yeah. We've driven, as we're driving away now, I'm not, I've seen them, so I've gone and hotted them all up. Yeah. As the video show, I was yeah. a bit drunk, talking fucking hella shit. Mm. <laughs> and then we got in the car and we've gone. And then as we've driven off, we've literally got past Tower Bridge, so they let us get all that way. Yeah. And then, boom, like bang, 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 everywhere. And then telling me, it was getting out of the passenger side, where's your license? Yeah. Not fucking driving the car. Mm. And then... Yeah, I'll just come out of all that other rubbish about car and watches and yeah. and I mean, I was drunk. I mean, and that's the, I mean, and and that's the thing um, that some you're 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 a bit like Marmite. Some people like you, they're like, yeah, oh yeah, honestly. good on you. And some people are like, oh fucking hell, this guy. Like, what was it about that n- night? That was it because you had that's a bit me. to drink. You had a bit to drink. Yeah, surely that has got to my head. Yeah. but that's me. Mm. That's just, I'm real. I say it, I say what people want to do. Mm. I do what people want to want to think they want to do. Yeah. I just do it. I don't have no. I don't think. Oh, if this police officer now puts his hands on me, I'm gonna whack him and I'm gonna go. Do it. I don't think that. I think yeah. afterwards and think. Ah, oh, didn't fuck, need to. Yeah. So do you think that's something? Um, would you say you have anger management issues? Yeah, definitely. But I look at it as like I'm being real to myself. Yeah. If I'm if I don't do what I want to do. I'm not being rude to myself. Yeah. I'm being fake. Yeah. So I say it exactly how it is. Like the other day, I told my mate, who, who, the same kid who won Love Island, I said, can you post this T-shirt up? He told me he can't because he's got to deal with my quiz. I told him, go fuck yourself. Yeah. You, you weren't saying this the other day when I paid for your tyres. You weren't yeah. saying this the other day. But yeah, anyway, that's another story. Bro. But that, that, that's the thing though. But can't you not understand it from his point of view is that yes, he's your mate, mm. but he's on something that where pub- publicly he can't sort of associate himself with certain things. Cause like I've got friends who might say, yo, post this song for me. And I'd be like, oh, well, I can post this. Oh, I can't do that one because of how I work with my, with yeah, my football club. Yeah, but it's a t-shirt. I'm not asking him to post about, I like, for example, I asked him the other, the other week to post up the video of police beating me. Yeah. Now he messaged me and said himself, that's a fucking liberty. I can't believe they've done that, but wouldn't post it. Yeah. But hang on a minute, you're fake. Mm. You're, you're not real. You're one of these bloggers. You're, you're posting fake stuff then. So yeah. you're lying to everyone who's on your in Instagram. Mm. Because you're telling me in a WhatsApp message that's wrong, yeah. but you don't want to tell the world that's wrong. Mm. I think Ard ads, um, so not Ard ads, Young Ad said something like this the other day that I saw on, um, on Made You Think. He said, be wary of people who praise you privately. Yeah. Because they won't praise you publicly because of the shit they probably talk about you behind, uh, your, behind back. your back. So they'll come to your DM, go, oh, yeah, yeah, great, great, great. We're like, wait, don't just tell me great here. Tell me great publicly. So and do you know how great that is? Someone who's so platform does him coming yeah. out and saying that, yeah. hotting them up. Because that's right. I yeah. you WhatsApp in my phone, but you're not doing that. Mm. But yet, when you wasn't well, who was the one who went and paid £700 for your tyres? Who was yeah. the one coming around your house making sure you're, you're right? Me. Mm. I didn't publicise that. I didn't yeah. do... I don't know if I, I love my own kindness, but now nah, it just looked like to me now yeah. you was using me. Mm. I mean, after winning Love Island, you should have about seven hundred pound, no? <laughs> no comment. Alright, right, so um, I guess seven hundred DMs from sluts, but not about seven hundred pound. <laughs> Alright, so 
Obviously, back to the controversy. I mean, that's happened, and obviously, looking at your lifestyle, people are thinking, "Oh, this guy is a millionaire. He's this, he's that." Would you say? Oh, would you say you're a millionaire? Very far from it. Very far from it. So, but you live comfortably. Yeah. And also, I guess there's also the other video that we're. But who doesn't live comfortably? We're living. We're breathing. We're smiling. How come you living better than most? We'll say. We're living better than most. Because there's other video as well. I want to touch but on we're that. We're the same now. Yeah. We're all doing the same. We're all living exactly the same. Yeah. You ain't living no different from me. The geezer outside ain't living no different from us. But, there, there's, exactly but there's different the levels of comfortability of living. But Instagram is very good at portraying. Yeah, hundred percent. You know what I mean, 100%. someone could be t- someone could post up there in the Harrods, yeah. but really they're walking in Sports Direct. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So I hear that. People shouldn't judge on Instagram. Shout out Harrods and Sports Direct as well if you shop there, guys. No There's nothing wrong with Sports Direct. <laughs> yeah. I love Sports Direct, bro. Them night tracks, it's the same. <laughs> so there's also another video, a um, bit more controversy, where um, you've got sort of money back and uh, jewellery back, like I think watches upon watches, and people are like, how the hell he's clocked the game? Like, police are giving him back all his stuff. I mean, what, what's happened there in that situation? Because people... So basically, um, I had a Lamborghini Jeep. Yeah. And... Um, Police tried to do some mad ambush thing. Like allegedly, they say it was me, and the car reverses, and then they say it rams the police car and, and takes off. Yeah. And then they arrested me for a kidnap. Well, that wasn't even a kidnap. Yeah. Um, I sought in four police officers. They said they was injured when the Lamborghini hit the police car. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just took watches, took laptops, took phones, took went, just took everything. Yeah. And obviously, I proved. Where it all come from? Even though I, I, why should I have to? Yeah. Come to arrest me for assaulting the police officers? Why should I prove to you now where that watch come from? Yeah, that's, that's a mockery. Mm, now, if, I, if I can't, what you're going to take my watch for mm. a police assault? Yeah. But I proved that I've got it all, and I got it all back, and I posted it literally not to be flash, not mm. to be cocky, just to say this time, police, I won. Fuck you, because there's guys out there that don't win. Mm. And can't post it yeah. and lose. So you're saying you're doing it for the man then basically yeah. say, look guys, is, is, is there a little bit of cockiness, a little bit like... So yeah, of course, cool, to the police, like, fuck yeah. you, let's cat and mouse game at the end of the day. And do you think that gives police more ammunition to say, oh, we can't fucking wait to get this guy? Yeah, 100%, but they're never. I'm never going to do something that they're going to go boom and put me in jail for a long time. Yeah. I'm, I'm not that dumb, do you mm. know what I mean? What are you going to do, nick me for a disc roll driving? Yeah. Six months to three, I'm back out doing the same stuff. Yeah. I'll just recharge my batteries and I'll go again. Yeah. Very simple. But right now, I'm keeping my nut down, my kids, and I'm just being good. What, what, what motivates you? Um, my kids, man. Kids smiling. That's yeah. the main, main, main motivation. Kids smiling. There's no, what else could be better than that? Yeah. Money can't buy a time. Yeah. Not the amount of money you got in the world can buy a second in time. 100%. So, again, so for the people who always tell me about timestamps, it's at 36 minutes where we're going to get into the nitty gritty. So, about 10 days ago, I just come off. Is that uh, long ago it was? I don't know. I mean, when it came out I for me. I just thought I had seven days to live. No, no, I wasn't saying that. But for me, about <laughs> 10 days ago, all of a sudden, I'm seeing messages and people forwarding me. They're like, Bobby, cover this, cover this. You know this guy? Do you know this? I'm like, what is this? What? Like, Danny Simpson. I'm like, what the hell is the Leicester City player, ex- Leicester City player Danny Simpson? No, Newcastle, he done? Newcastle. <laughs> yeah, Newcastle. I mean, he's played for so many different teams. Eh? I'm like, what has he done now? They're like, no, no, not that Danny Simpson. This. Then I looked at it and I said, whoa, 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 whoa. He's, whoa. He's, he's, I, can he's hear, I can hear an Irish <laughs> accent. I can hear this Cockney lad giving it back to them, talking about some names in there. First and foremost, is that you... In that conversation. Got one, but it's too much to handle. My guy just bet 60 macro in a jailhouse flexing natural. Best of three was his next to an angle. A life for should take the L more admiral. No orders were building a blueprint. No levels to how we can do this. The singles will be moving units, doing up life and doing up music. Can't tell me about young boys foolish. I wanna run up and do it more stupid. About winners, they're losers. Had one shot, but you hoofed it. Had an ego, but I bruised it. Best in the ends, but they knew this. Got a problem, we can do this. Zone one, zone one, so ruthless. Ain't about understanding. First and foremost, is that you in that conversation? Yeah. I'm not the one videoing. Yeah, you're He's not the one, one videoing. videoing. Yeah. He's the one who's put it out there. He's the one who's made all this. He's the one who's sent it about. Like, I want to put this record straight. I never videoed that. Yeah. Everyone keeps going, oh, you're grass, you're this, you're that. I never videoed it. Yeah. I'm, if you look, zoom in, it says my whole name. Yeah. 
He videoed it. He yeah. grassed up. Yeah. That's it. He done that. He caused all of this. So, so that's what it is. So, like I said, there's a video. You're some, some um, guy with an Irish accent. He's talking to you. He's saying basically this and that. And then you said, yeah. And then you've also mentioned other names. Mm-hmm. Was that just for f- to, to piss him off, or was it what? What was that? I don't care. I'm just saying it exactly how it is. Exactly. Like, what, what are you gonna do? Join the back of the fucking queue. I don't give a shit about no one. It is what it is. Don't drop names to me, bro. Like, it's it's irrelevant. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, I'm gonna say he dropped the name, but then yeah. you also added like, to it I by just join the back of the queue. Get with them. Gang yeah. up with them and do whatever you want to try and f- or think you can do. How many people would you say are onto you right now? Zero. 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 So Zippo. You, so you, don't, you think it's just, it's, just, it's just all talk? You just see me pull up in my Range Rover. Yeah, I have only, only you and your, your, your partner, <laughs> no one else. So, no one. I drove from Peckham to Margate today. <laughs> so, I mean... And back. Like, I, mean, I, mean, I video, look where I was at certain times. I don't, I don't nobody. If someone was, if, if it was me... For example, yeah. So now I'm on someone. I'm I hope hang on. I hope you didn't video that where you are right now because I'm here right now. Then the camera's here as well. <laughs> hope you don't video where you are right no, now. No, no, no. <laughs> joking. Um, but like, if it was me, for example, and I'm on to man, I'm saying I'm on to man. I'm, I'm in a Chordy car. I'm yeah. waiting for this dickhead waste man to put a video up where he's at. Yeah. I'm there, bro. Yeah. With myself mm. in my stolen car. Yeah. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yeah. They ain't going to do nothing. That's why they talk. That's why they sent this all around. That's, it's not 1992 where you I can mean, pay a cracker to go and do something. £500 now. I mean, what, 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 what was that situation over? What's actually happened? Cause oh, so basically what happened is we were doing deals every day. 25 grand, 30 grand deals every day, every day. And then every day he's coming five grand short or he's giving me 20 grand in Scottish money, 10 grand in Irish money. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm in England, bro. Mm. I like the Queen's head. I don't yeah. like this funny money. I called it actually Monopoly money. Yeah. I said, I want real money, man, proper money. And he went, it is British t- tender. Yeah. Googled, is Irish money British tender? They said, no. Yeah. Tried to use the Scottish notes. They said, no, like, Londies. Yeah. Like, Londies love money. They said, mm. no, what's that, bro? Mm. So I said, no, bro, come correct. We're doing deals. I'm coming correct. You come correct. Yeah. And every day, this went on for about four weeks, and he, every time, he's owing me five grand. Oh, you pay me tomorrow. And yeah, give me due. He paid me the next day. Yeah. But on the next deal, the next day, it'd be five grand getting short. Yeah. So I was always chasing him. I'm always in his pocket. I've always got to go back to him to keep yeah. the deal running. Mm. And then the long story short is, I had two suitcases. I had what the per, uh, the merchandise he needed, and I had someone's garden wall. Yeah. In the other suitcase, I pulled up. I said, "What's going on?" He's he's rung me off his phone because he's 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 driving. That's brought the money yeah. down. He went, oh, d- uh, this is where it is. Um, he's got 95 grand on him now. Bearing yeah. in mind, he's come down from Liverpool. So you've had yeah. three hours to tell me yeah. that he's got 95 grand, not 125 grand. Yeah. And he went, I'll give you the rest on Friday. Mm. This is a Monday. I said, no problem, no problem. I went to the car. Instead of getting a suitcase out the boot with the merchandise in, yeah. I went to the back of the car, got the other merchandise. I said, there you go, mate. And then the box, again, was Scottish money. Yeah. So he bumped me again. So I walk, I drove off with a smile and didn't like didn't care. You, you took the piss, I took the piss, <laughs> even the cameraman smile. <laughs> <laughs> hey cameraman, you uh, j- just for for the record, is the cameraman laughing, not Bobby. <laughs> if you guys are coming, it's the cameraman, not Bobby. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. No, but um I mean after Fly straight or I'll fly Ben. Yeah. You fly straight, I'll fly straight. I can't... I, the, everyone I've done a dodgy thing to, everyone I've robbed, they've always done something. I've never just got been the bad guy for no reason. Yeah. Make, give me the reason, then I'll be the bad guy. I mean, after it's happened, he's obviously called you and, I mean, he's messaged you and told you whose money he, he says it belongs to. At that point, do you know the names of this, this these people he's talking about? Because he, he told me to watch a... BBC program about it. No, but I'm saying, but did you, uh, was no, you aware? I don't know. I'm from South London. They're from wherever they're from. But after you've watched the program, what did you think? Oh, these guys are serious? And Anyone can make any story up about anyone. Yeah. I don't want to give a fuck if it was their money. Why would I care? He's the one who, he's the one who will owe me mm-hmm. money. Why would I care? But is it, is it, was there not any fear at all? I mean, you see, <laughs> like someone, I'm going to say, obviously, obviously, I know, you, you, 
you've come here alone. Like, I've messaged you, like, this morning and said, look, can we do this today? Because everyone's on to me. You're like, yeah, sure, straight away. I gave you a time, gave you a location. You've just come. Like, no problem, no issue. So it clearly shows that there is no fear in regards to yourselves. But in regards to, say, like, your your, your family, do you ever fear that, you know what, my family could be targeted? Because, again, there was that... (laughs) Uh, video going around and it said that your father that was your father I that was shot. My father. Oh, <laughs> so let's just clarify that that's not your dad. No, it's not. Even today, like I just mad. Like people message me DMs. Is, is your dad dead? Oh mm. my god, you pussy! You ain't done nothing. Your dad got shot. Oh my god, your dad's head got wigged. Like, it's not my dad, bro. If you're that dumb and believe a video that looks like it's from 1992 Essex boys, then you're stupid. Yeah. Like, that's not my dad, bro. I mean, so I wish it was, but it's not. I mean, so what do you say then to everyone that's saying, you know what, this this kid ain't got long to live. We, they, 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 what they're saying is that... I say you're going to eat your words. They're, they're saying they see what's going to okay, happen. But why are, they've got to think to themselves, why are they saying it mm. from what they're hearing? Yeah. Where's the evidence? Where's the proof of anything? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Where's the proof that it's these people? Where's... They're just hearing gossip. Yeah. And bro, if you watch EastEnders, you should not, don't listen to gossip. Yeah. Because it's EastEnders. And that's what it is. It's I mean, I see, I, I, mean, I see, obviously, you, you, you've you come with your partner, beautiful lady. I mean, does she not speak to you and say, look, Danny, I know this is you, but I'm a little bit afraid myself? No, that's not my side, like my partner. That's a sad thing. You grass me up. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say cut. <laughs> I was about to say fucking hell. Oh, oh my god. god, my heart stopped there. I'm like, but well, I thought anyway, we would have cut it anyways, to be fair. <laughs> but fuck me. Oh. But yeah, I mean, is, is she not sort of like speak to you and say, look, I'm a little bit worried? No, no one. It, 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 it's just rumours, it's bullshit, you know what I mean? People yeah. just chatting shit, bruv. Like, yeah. It is what it is. No one's going to do nothing, bro. That's why yeah. I bought the t-shirts. Uh, but at the end of the day, my whole life's been the same way. He'll be dead soon. Oh, he's done this. He's done... This, is, this ain't nothing new. This mm. is not something... I, I do this all the time. Yeah. It's been 31 years. People yeah. have been saying this. It's still it. If, if someone's going to do something, they would have done it in 31 years. I'm clean. No Mars bars. No cuts. Mm. No one's doing nothing, bro. But do you then think then you sort of... And if they do, bro, yeah, they better be ready because I'm not going down lying down, bro. But do you think then with all of this sort of energy it also isolates you? Because like you said, for example, that like you're now not good in a good space with your family and also like... like the it's one been forever. I like, it's been for a long time. It's only been recently, my brother, because obviously my baby mum's out. It's like, I'm yeah. trying to do a bedroom for my little girl. Yeah. And you're telling me about fitting me in. Yeah. Okay. But also like you've mentioned that like you're sort of friends. How do you know when someone is using you and who's a genuine friend? Because when you've got money, you, you kind of, you don't know. You've got a lot of yes My people friend, around you. That's why I fucked them all off. Yeah. Like, I, I don't even want to mention their names again, but the ch- people that go on them, these celebrity shows and that, yeah. I don't chat to them no more. Yeah. I keep my friends are my friends from when I was 15. If they wouldn't change if I was broke or I'm rich or I'm in prison or I'm dead, they'll be the same person. And that's yeah. literally, I can count them on one hand. Yeah. And that's all I need. It is what it is. I don't need a million people. Why do I need a million? They're, they're going to be there for the wrong reasons or to snake me or to do some dumb stuff. I mean, with this now, are you not afraid that there are people that could try to snake you? Or are you, are you snake me how? I don't hang around with them. I don't roll yeah. with them. And w- w- what's the worst that's going to happen? I'm going to be in a restaurant when everything opens and someone's going to come and chat shit. You better chat. Like, I'm going to put the whole table in your head. Yeah. Like, I'm on it. I don't care if we're in Novikov, Harrods, Silverjee. It is what if it goes off, it goes off. Just yeah. make sure you're gonna say it with your chest because I'm gonna say it with my chest. But do you, you then think it, it, it limits people wanting to do business with you because they think, oh, he's got this reputation, this was coming about, he's saying all these things. People, no, there. people are greedy, yeah. People see money, they're greedy. Yeah. Even today, yesterday, people message me, Can you sell this? Can you, do you want to buy that? Do you want to sell it? People are greedy, people see money, they, they, they it's, it's, a, it's a mad world we live in now. They yeah. see money and they get mad greedy. Yeah. They just want it. Mm. Doesn't matter if you've got a bad reputation. Doesn't matter if you're a bad guy. Mm. You've got money. They want to do stuff. Yeah. Man, I think yesterday from when you said, um, what do you want to do now with your money? Like, what do you want to do to go legit? Like, what? Yeah. Do you know how many DMs when I said that? I don't know what to do. Maybe there might be an opportunity. Yeah. How many DMs I got? Like, do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? All yeah. right, I'm not going to believe them all because yeah. they're not. 
hundred hundred followers on their Instagram, they're just yeah. probably chatting shit and probably doing do a snaky thing. But yeah. it's just it's crazy. Like people doesn't matter, people will want to work. I mean, what what are you trying to do now? Like what in terms of investments, in terms of Oh like today I'm to? just gonna start at a um letting business, like yeah. letting houses out. Mm-hmm. Started that business today. Um and then just yeah, a couple more businesses, like legit. Mm. So I used to do a rental car business as well, but obviously everyone kept on smashing up my cars, so yeah. kind of stopped. That. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, what message would you have then to like? Let, let's say, for example, now it is the, the the Irish man's money, and he calls you directly and says, "Look, all right, enough of all the chat. It was mine. As a gentleman, can you run that back, and we'll go back into service. We'll get you back what you're meant to do in terms of it won't be Scottish money, whatever. Just run that back. Do you say no, or do you think? Do you want my true words? Uh, fuck himself. <laughs> That's as straight up as I am, but like, what is what is it? What is it that you? What, what is it that you don't fear? Is, it, is that because you're all gonna die one day anyway? Yeah, we won't have a sell by date, and it is what it is. Like a car and the milk in the fridge, you can't change that date. Yeah. So God knows that date for every one of us. Yeah. You can't change it, no matter guess, what we do. But I guess you wanna, don't you wanna sort of live longer with your family and How with do you your know kids? We're gonna live longer. No, you never know. How do we not know we're going to drive out in the road, get run over by electric scooter? Hundred percent. But it's, but I mean, there's, there's certain ways I where you can stop on it. I food every day. How yeah. do I know I'm not going to die on a chew it tomorrow? No, hundred <laughs> percent. But that, that's the accidental. I mean, that's, like for me, for example, I can never. That's be what I'm going to die of: accidental yeah. Yeah. or the police killing me. Like no, nobody else is doing nothing. Like, I'm not shortening my life no other way. Trust me. Do you fear the police killing you? Yeah, one hundred percent. Why is that? Million percent. Why is that? Because they just. They, 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 for what they do and the, and the measures they go, like, like for example, pulling me over. Why have you got a helicopter and armed police? Yeah. For disc while driving. Yeah. You want to shoot me? That's what you want to do. Let's be yeah. serious. Mm. You got armed police. I've never been caught with a weapon. Yeah. I've never been caught with a gun. I've never gone to jail for a gun. Uh, you're bringing in a gun for a disc while driving. Yeah. Now, worst case scenario, if I get nicked for disc while driving right now, COVID, prisons are full, it's all disgusting in there. Are you sending me to prison for disco driving? No. Yeah. No. So why are you pulling me over with guns? Mm. More than one off one car guns. It's because you want me to do something so you can go bang. Like that's where it is. But at the same time, you're still giving it to them when it, when they are stopping you. Because that's it's giving. Where them it is. I'm. I'm. Gonna, I'm not going to have it. You're not mm. going to intimidate me because you've got a gun on your on your hip. You're not going to do that. Whether you're a bad boy, whether you're not, whether you're a police officer, I'm not. I don't care, bro. It is what it is. And, like, do you think you're under surveillance right now? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. One million percent. They took a car. I sold a car the other day to a kid. Yeah. They wanted to know. They d- took two weeks to get, uh, no, a week and a bit to give him his car back. He got his car back yesterday. Yeah. Now, in that car, all night last night, the alarm was going off. And when he got the car back, the window was open. Yeah. And they asked him, he had to prove where he got the car from, where he purchased the money, the, mon- the tra- bank transfer in the bank, and who, they wanted to know who had the car before him and who had the car before them. Yeah. So why 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 so many questions for no insu- you took the car for no insurance? So would you, would you, do you think in they put a bug in, in the car? They got bugs in probably in my cars. Yeah. You know yeah, I mean? say, do you think they, they, they bugged your phone? They, I know oh, with no. Casa, Casanova who's re- from the US. They put the US. me in Greenwich the other day, yeah. like and took my Range Rover. They didn't do it normally. Yeah. They pulled over, I pulled pulled my partner over. Yeah. Took her out of the car. Said that it had tinted windows and it wasn't insured. Yeah. But when they check the insurance, they see that she's paying three hundred pound a month for insurance. Yeah. But still said they're going to impound the car for no insurance. Yeah. They didn't call no tow truck like they normally normal procedure. Yeah. The brother got in the car and drove off in my car. Wow. The police officer got in my car and drove off. Yeah. This is in the middle of as you're going from Greenwich to Deptford. Yeah. And obviously I was on the road. I run over the road now. I was just going to drag the geezer out of the car. Yeah. And then obviously they kind of got away, but. You don't do that. Mm. If I drive down the road now with a car, no insurance, they literally stop the car, get out of it, and pull the person out. Yeah. Call the tow truck. It goes on the back of a tow truck. Goes to truck with impact. Yeah, he actually drove the car it away. It got in my pl- my vehicle. Hundred grand car got in it and drove it. You're not insured to drive my car. Yeah. If I'd done that to you on the road, that's theft. That's yeah. robbery. That's grand port. Mm. So I mean, like, look at last night. My video I posted last night. Yeah. I mean, police officers stopped me for COVID check. Yeah. Because I was out. Yeah. Do you want me to show the video? Yeah, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. That's uh, how many police cars is that? So would you... Would, would One, two, three, four. They're all traffic units. Yeah. 
So what's, what's four, four traffic, traffic units, X5 and three Volvos, um, one Volvo and two BMW estate? Why, why have four traffic units put over one car? Yeah. They're not even meant to be near each other. They're meant to be all spread it out. Yeah. Uh, four traffic units in, su- in the Rav Tunnel. Yeah. It's weird. It's all weird shit, man. So what do you think they're trying to find? Or what? I don't know. I, just, I think they're just terrorising me. I think they think, all right, you little cheeky cunt, you yeah. want to do that, we'll do this. But knowing, knowing this is all that you're sort of under surveillance for God knows what, and that they onto you because you're a little bit arrogant towards them, do you not think that, okay, you know what, I can't do this aggro, let me just fall back and I can be humble. And not, not be, I know that, and I got, that goes against your personality because that's who you are, but just to, to, look, I've got money, I move my partner, I'm just going to go and live life accordingly. No, I've done it. This is not new. Mm. I've done that. I've, yeah. I've moved that to the sticks. I've done everything. Yeah. Bro, I've got a video, you obviously haven't seen because you weren't on my Instagram before, but yeah. bro, they burgled my house. Okay. I've got my CCTV breaking in physically, like Jimmy in the door breaking yeah. into my heart. Like... I've done every, I've been quiet. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it didn't work. They put cameras in my road. Like, I lived, I used to live down a, a country lane. Yeah. They put cameras in my road. Mm. And do you know how I know this? Because some kids was nicking the cars and taking the cars to the lane and then what they was doing is taking the trackers out the lane yeah. and the cameras ended up catching them. Yeah. And now they're in prison and they made a phone call said, to my pal said, tell Simpson there's cameras in his lane. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And every car I drive down that lane in gets pulled over the next day. Yeah. So, I mean, do you think that they've got everything under civilian? Because like I said earlier, even the rapper Casanova in the U- US, is an indictment. They've, said that they've gone into his Instagram and stuff like that. Do you think they've got your yeah, Snapchat, they Instagram? Yeah, my girl. They pulled my girl over and went to the King of South London, eh? She's got on video. Okay, yeah. Because that's only on Instagram. Yeah. I've never... It's people that say that on Instagram. That's why I say it. Yeah. And, they've, and the police officer from Kent followed my girl from literally Kent to... Um, I think it was... Um, Bexie Eve, and yeah. then he, when he pulled her over, he went, she went, why are you pulling me over for? He went, oh, you know, where's the king of South London? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, how do you think this story's going to end? Because some people got their... Their, 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 their opinions. Their opinions. <laughs> um, how do you think this story's going to end? There'll be a new guy next week, and they'll be licking his bum and doing madnesses to his life. Yeah. But the police will still be harassing me, still be terrorising me. But everyone else's attention will be to the new guy. Yeah. It's kind of, I don't, I'm, I'm calm with do, it. Do you think eventually they'll leave you alone? Who, the police? Yeah. No, I'll never. Why not? Because they, do, they, don't, they don't do that to people like me. They, you don't get left alone. Why? They're not. Is it, is like, it, for example, I got told the other day, yeah, by a police officer, that obviously I'm not going to mention names, they said there's a marker on my car so high up they can't take it off. It's called a nuisance marker. Yeah. Like, that marker means wherever you go, They've got to have you. And to put that on your car, that needs to be higher. Yeah. Because literally, it's, it's beyond a joke. I can't drive down one road. But for the last three days, I ain't been pulled over, which shows me I'm on surveillance. Because if you're on surveillance, they can't pull you over. Because, yeah. I mean, I thought I, 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 I was bad when I was driving around delivering Bob's tab and getting stopped every now and then. You're getting stopped every single moment. I mean, as I'm saying, is, is, would you think about leaving the country and going elsewhere? I did. Yeah. I did that from... July to September. Yeah. I've done that. I went to Spain. I kicked back. Yeah. Come back, got the same shit. I was even there getting phone calls sent from to my landlord and the estate agent. How's Danny paying for the rent? How's, the, how, how's this? How's that? What, um, what checks did you do? Show, uh, show us what he's proved. Yeah. I'm chilling in Spain, bro. I'm, I'm talking about it. Can for months? There permanently. Is there any, or as you could, like I said, for example, you're not really. I mean, Why some, should I take myself out of my kingdom for anyone? No, no, you shouldn't at all. But at the same time, it's like, for example, people like to stay in a country cause, and not leave because oh, no, I've got my family here. Don't like, get me wrong, I can't stand England. If I yeah. could give up my British citizenship, I would do that, no problem. I don't want to abide by no queen, no king, no nobody, no government. I want to do me. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you, you know what you know. Mm. Like now, nah, like we're in the, the suburb. Like the, This yeah. is where we know, where we feel comfortable. So mm. I, that's why I took myself back from the sticks. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Where you feel comfortable. Where you feel calm. Where, where, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, Will you be here in five years, according to some people? Oh, my God, this guy. Fuck <laughs> 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 Yeah, of course. Mm. Unless I die on a chewy or get run over by a bus or the policeman puts one in me and says, do you know what, I've had enough of this fucker. Yeah, yeah well, why, why wouldn't I be? No one's going to do nothing. No, but where, where do, where you do see I see yourself? myself? Yeah. I see myself with a couple of businesses. Um, kids smiling and just there. Yeah, just Any more kids? Yeah, I'm gonna have. I want. I want at least five, six kids. Yeah, well, wedding, marriage, 
Uh-huh. Marriage soon. Do you know what it is with marriage, yeah? I'm proper believing, yeah? All this women power bullshit, yeah? Mm. So, cool. Women power, you propose to me. Mm. If it's 2021, the women power, no problem. Then you do, you, you propose to me. So you'd want your partner to propose yeah. to you? Yeah. I yeah. ain't doing it. Yeah. I'm fully not doing it. Straight category, not proposing. Have you had that conversation with her? Yeah. <laughs> What's her thoughts on that? Said to her, her mum, the lot. I don't. Yeah, it, she's saying no, like never. So I've said, it, it, it is what it is. I don't care about marriage. You you change your mind one day. I promise you, I will not change my mind. On I reckon you would. No way. Because as it'd be the same thing. You're gonna eat your words the same as these guys that say I'm not gonna be a very. Do you know soon. why? Do you know why it is? Yeah. Since the dawn of time, mm. man, 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 ha- to man kill. no, not even that. Man have killed over two things: power, money, and women. We've seen it with. With King David in the Bible, we've seen it with Samson and Delilah. <laughs> like when it comes to a woman, yeah, mm. if you're gonna lose that special woman that you love, mm. yeah, you would do you would kill a man over your wife or your partner. You would do you you would do the most. You would you wouldn't even do it for your brother mostly, mm. but you would do it for that woman. So over time, no, as you no, get older, you might young a, now. I'm a proper proper bitch. Like I'll, I'm a stubborn motherfucker. No, no, I hear you. I, I hear you. Stick to you're, my gun. You're though. 31 now. Mm. Cool. You get to 45, 50, and... That mentality you, won't change. It won't. It'd be like, nope, it's a woman's world. You, I'll be that fat old geezer in the corner of the front room going with my beard going, she ain't proposed to me, I ain't doing it. And she'd be in the <laughs> kitchen going, I can't stand that cunt. <laughs> That's what it will be. So, how would you dis- want people to describe you? I mean, what, what would your, your, your cool friend describe you? Three, three, three words that your, your My friends... friends. Yeah, what, what would they describe oh, you as? Three friends. Not all. Not all. Um... Lost a plot. They're yeah. the same thing. Um, funny. What, what what would your partner describe you? Three words. Um. <laughs> you trying to kill me. Um, what would my partner describe me in three words? Yeah. Um, big dick. Very good at sex. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, no, I don't even know. I don't. I don't know. I literally, I don't know. Um, How would you describe yourself? I would then? just like to be known as funny, like laughing. Yeah. Like why not? Like. Like banter, like let's get on. Everyone smile, everyone be happy, and just everyone have the best life. Yolo, mate. Do, do, do you think you understood? Mis- misunderstood? Yeah, one hundred percent. And by being misunderstood, what, what is it about you that people don't kind of dig? I'm yeah. misunderstood. I'm just, I just do it and say it how it is. People don't like you said, mama. You either love it or you hate it. Mm. And we've seen people do hate mm. it, mm. and people do love it. Mm. Like the arguments that they have on YouTube, but. Big it up to the people that are positive. That's all I can say. I, I mean, from now we've seen that you've gone from a, a few thousand followers on Instagram to now I think twenty three, twenty four thousand oh, um, um, joke people bro. following you now on 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 Instagram. So you got more eyes on you, more scrutiny. Cars getting a whole load of calls from Ireland. They're going to tell me, oh, he's the talk of the town in Ireland 23, right now. Twenty three thousand. Like literally twenty three thousand in two days. Twenty three thousand in one day. I opened it yesterday. So so how do you sort of um, Take to this new found fame. Is it something that gonna? It's not fame. It's a little bit. I can say it's nah. a bit. Like you got a lot of people talking about. You. A lot of people know you. How do you sort of capitalize that? I or just do you feel capitalize like they're all that? fake because they're all on fake Instagram. So all fake YouTube accounts and yeah. nothing real. Like the only kind of people that's been real is you. Yeah. Like big up as well. That made me smile. Daddy yeah. fucking yeah. messaged me. Like yeah. obviously as a kid, you listen to that yeah. music. And he was like, "Gee, do your thing." And I got Dappy. Like, yeah, big, big up, up Dappy and Andy Marnie as well. Big them both up. Yeah, but yeah like. Um, but apart from like using it, like and him and people like my boy suspect, like the, the others like, ain't ain't real. Do you know what mm. I mean? Like they're just fake Instagrams. Mm. And I guess like with music, like I, I see you do listen to a lot of hip hop and uh, UK uh, gram. Who's your favorite artist? Oh, you're trying to do me? Yeah, who's your favorite artist? Obviously, what the, the like you said yesterday, you do yeah. I play in the car. Yeah. So yeah, at the moment, Fredo. Yeah. I don't really listen to that kind of music, but mm. obviously, big up my pals, Snap, Gigs, Suspect. No ambush. He snaps got a meeting out uh, recently. Yeah, as well. literally uh, yesterday, isn't it? And we, which, because w- at that time, I think um, Snap and Giggs was also with us in Belmarsh at O Eleven time as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <sighs> Danny, have I cleared everything? I think you've cleared most of what it. You I mean, say about the kids again, because that is that is saying I'm very really yeah, strong about. That's what I say. So yeah, in, in 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 terms of the what what message do you have for the young people? I, I, Let's do it like we done yesterday. First, for the adults. Yeah, the adults is basically get off your ass. Yeah. Go get it. Yeah. Don't hold your hand up. Mm. Don't message people and and wait for that help. Yeah. Go and get it. Mm. Nobody's gonna help you. No one's gonna do stuff how you're gonna do it. You gotta yeah. go and do it. Don't send applications off. Don't 
wait for someone else. Go and get your money, bro. Yeah. Go and support your family. Go and support yourself. Mm. And for the kids, the main message is literally stay in school. Do you do it all? Yeah. Literally, you might think it's a joke. You might see your mate going around in his moped or with this man or that man. But bro, do you go to school? Come out of school at seventeen. Get a good job. I oh, don't even have to be a good job. Stack shelves in Asda's. Yeah, bro. By the time you're twenty five. That man you looked at at 17 driving his, his new moped is now driving a Peugeot. Yeah. You're owning your own house yeah. and driving your BMW. Mm. Legit. That man that you looked at when you were 17 is not doing that. Yeah. So literally, stay in school, bro. Like, and that's not me stunting. I'm real. That's exactly how it is. Yeah. Bro, stay in school, trust me. When you're 25, you own your own house. Yeah. You own your own car. The guy that was at 17 driving his, his new moped be a bum with six kids and can't afford yeah. two of them. Mm-hmm. So yeah, kids stay in school. And what, what do you want most for your for your kids? Just have a, just a smile, have a good job, like live live your live your best life. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? But do it the right way. Because like me now, thirty one, I can't go and buy a house. Yeah. But if you stay in school and work from seventeen to twenty five, you're gonna buy your house yeah. from stacking shelves in Asda's at night time. No one's even seeing you. You're going to work at 10 o'clock, you're coming home from work at 6 o'clock in the morning. No one's seeing you. By the time you're 25, you bought your house. Mm. I mean, I know I asked this yesterday. I mean, I mean, like, why can't you buy a house? Because, for example, like you're starting a letting agency, that's your business, and you can show accounts for your businesses that puts money in to buy a house. Yeah, but right now, I can't yeah. go and do that. So I have to wait for this business to start up, start earning money, start doing that, start yeah. paying taxes, and then do that. Yeah. Like the 17 year old kid will do when he's about 25. Mm-hmm. Now, probably, yeah, when I'm 35, I'll go and buy a bad boy gaff. Yeah. Right now, I can't, yeah, physically, and with what I've got, I can go and buy a bad boy gaff, but yeah. the police can also come the next day and take it. Yeah. So, it is what it is. That's why I say to kids, do school, do work. By the time you're 25, we'll see what the bad boy is. I mean, that, that watch has just been sort of shining in my, in my, in my eyes all day. I mean, I do the settings, baby. I mean, that, I mean that, that 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 watch is crazy. A cameraman, can we get a bit of a? Can, can we can we get a, a closer look there? I mean, Danny, my, my watch that I got on is not expensive. You don't rob me, but, <laughs> but I'm saying honestly, like, cameraman, can we see that? I mean, that is crazy. How many how many how many watch, how many watches would you say that you own? Um, fucking hell. five six. This is, is my favorite. This is your favorite, no. And how long do you keep them for before you get you sell, sell them on? Um, like my Rolex is something I won't sell. Yeah. Like they're like, I'll like they're kind of like collector pieces. So yeah. I'll literally like park them up, then try and then sell them in like a year or something, and yeah. then a couple grand on them. Mm. But like something like that, I'll, I'll sell that when anyone comes and offers me a money that I'll make a profit on. If I wanted to buy that for me, how much am I am I paying? I wouldn't sell it for under thirty grand. Under thirty grand. So if someone probably come like thirty one, then I'll sell it. Yeah. Uh, Installments plans like nah, uh, two hundred pound a week. <laughs> <laughs> two hundred pound a week is good mm. money, bro. I mean, that's I mean with, with jewelry, I've always been funny about jewelry and like like I said, I own a couple of watches, but nothing too expensive. And I've always say like sometimes having if you're gonna have a certain kind of jewelry, yet you have to be prepared with what comes with it in regards to looking after it and also the hounds will be wanting to because people think just go and buy a watch and that, that's that's gonna save that's gonna make me money yeah no that doesn't happen because you're gonna wear that watch on your wrist every day mm. and then what you're gonna go in two years time and try and sell it back to the jeweler yeah. so where's the jeweler making his money yeah. he ain't gonna give you more for the watch than you bought it from no i mean i mean also in regards to just the hounds because you wear this something like this people I are gonna be hound. on to you people ain't gonna be on to me <laughs> i am the hound like they can't hound the hound. Like, it don't make no sense. I mean, I mean, that's what I'm saying. In terms of like, when you spot a watch, do, do your eyes sort of glisten? I think, oh, look at that watch. Uh, I like that. Or do you say, oh, I'll come and buy it from you? No, I just like, I love watches and like, I don't, I don't know. What are you trying to, like, is, what, is, is, is it if being, I see is a watch in the street, will I rob it? No, 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 not rob it. I'm saying that, would you like go to someone and say, look, oh, I want, I want to buy the watch. How do you find your watches apart from going Oh yeah, jewelry? Instagram, yeah. everything. Like my mate had a watch on Instagram the other day and he wanted to sell it, it was the um, green face uh, day date, rose gold. Yeah. And he wanted to sell, he had it stickered and he wanted 35 grand for it. But I know at Christmas time, that watch is going to be 40,000 pounds. Yeah. And I've literally, I've got onto it. I, I, I have fucked up because I said to him, don't sell the watch bro. Cause yeah. at Christmas, that's going to be 40 bags. Yeah. And then now he don't want to sell the watch, and I'm proper trying to hand him to buy the watch because I know yeah. if I buy that, put it in the safe deposit box, 
Yeah. That's five bags at Christmas. How long have you been into jewelry? Is it like been forever or just something that's? I've been always liked watches, but never, never really had the money to like go yeah. and buy watches. But yeah. now I just, I, I don't know. I think I've gone crazy lately. I've got literally yeah, loads. And 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 with having them, do you, does that give you that sort of like I've arrived status sort of thing? No, like? do you know what? Because it's it's like the opposite. You want saint, you want saint, you strive for saint. You get it, you don't want it no more. Mm. Like my Rolex, I don't, I ain't worn them for. Ages. Yeah. I've got the new, brand new, literally, Rolex set diamond. Yeah. But get dial. Like I don't wear it. I saw I saw I saw one um, one of your on your on your page, someone actually bought you a watch while you was in while you was indoors. Oh yeah, yeah, I've done him a favour. When yeah. I was indoors, went in jail. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I've done him a favour. That was a, a sky dweller. But I don't like sky dwellers. I think they're a like a seat a cunt's watch. Like, really? they're not nice. They're not they're not a gentleman's watch. Yeah. They're literally, in my eyes, a drug dealer's watch. Yeah. It's not smart. It's for people with more money than cents. Yeah. A smart watch is a day date. Like them, or a platinum Daytona. They're gentlemen's smart watches. Casio, no? Yeah, Casio's a car, bro. There's nothing wrong with a Casio. Do you know my favourite watch in the world? Yeah. It's an Apple watch. Okay. It's the best watch ever, ever, ever. Mm. You go, how can you beat that watch? It rings, it texts. It, this watch can't do that. Got surveillance as well. So that, that, it, it, it's got everything. Yeah. How can you beat an Apple Watch? Mm. You can't. That's the best watch in the world. Do you know what I mean? And when you're in jail, you you pray, you beg, you want. That's all you want is a Casio, mm. a G-Shock. Yeah. When you're in jail, that's all you want. Mm. You don't care about Rolex. You don't care about AP. You don't care. You want <laughs> a G-Shock. Yeah. Gov, please, can I get my watch? Yeah, Gov, please. That's all you care about. I hear that, man. So nothing wrong with them watches. Well, Danny, as I say, it's been a pleasure. We, yeah. we, we had to do it again properly this time because everyone was getting, getting on to me. Stick. Yeah, it's getting a bit of a stick. But I was just glad it wasn't just me, bro. <laughs> 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 but all I can say, look, like, I've always said this. I'm just glad I've done it with, my, with someone like you. Yeah. And these other dickheads out there. Because yeah. I say it's, it's a bit like AC. I don't know if you remember AC. It's like sometimes you're a character, but when someone doesn't really like have a face to face with you, don't really talk to you like that. Mm. You won't know all you know is what they see on the internet, yeah, what's what sort of perceived and, and AC is a character like that where people don't know him. But when I've met him on a one to one mom, mate, you won't like it. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> but all I can say is like I wish you the best. Yeah, cool. Be safe out there and f- let's hope they'll do nothing, right? No, 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 no. They will do nothing. Pow. Say no Drop more. The mic. <laughs>